Hi everybody, my name's Emma Dalmain. I'm an autistic rights advocate and I fight against abuse of autistic people, uh, mainly with crack cures and anti-vaxxers, etc. Um, I'm also one of the people that would be classed as extremely vulnerable to COVID. So I've had to shield three times this year now. This is the third time and I've just read that it could go until March the 31st. Um, I made this video mainly because as someone who is at extremely high risk of if I get COVID, I could go into hospital. I'm, I'm more likely, definitely more likely to go into hospital and end up intubated. And I would probably not survive it. I have six children. So to see people on Facebook, on Twitter saying, oh, you know, if I get it, I'll be all right. You know, so I won't be getting the vaccine. I'm not going to wear a mask. I won't be using hand sanitizer because only a certain amount of people die. So it doesn't matter, does it? We do matter, actually. <laughs> we are mothers, fathers, brothers, sisters, cousins, family. We are someone's. And even if we're no one's, <laughs> we still matter. We do. So to have that sort of privilege with your health to be able to say I'll survive so I'm not going to help protect anybody else is arsehole in the extreme it's sick you're not only talking about people like me you're talking about children and adults who are immunocompromised who won't be able to get the vaccine when it comes to my turn I will be diving on it now one of our followers on our Facebook page um, gave a really good layman terms explanation of the COVID vaccine. I'm not a scientist, you know, I'll read what I can understand, but this was brilliant and it, I think it w might help allay some fears if you could hear it. So I asked permission to read it out and I'm going to. So it goes, do not confuse inoculation with vaccination. The vaccine is not supposed to stop transmission of COVID-19. It's supposed to give your immune system the ability to fight off COVID-19 so it doesn't kill you. This is a virus that mutates at a rapid rate, so curing it will be almost impossible. It's the same reason that there is no cure for the flu, but there is a vaccine for it. People will get COVID, because, but because they have memory cells, they have been trained to fight the dilute virus from the vaccine. Your immune system can then act appropriately. This is also a SARS virus, and since the SARS outbreak years ago, the scientists have been working on a vaccine, so they already had an understanding of how this virus worked. But when it goes into a human, the mutate, mutation that happens is unpredictable, which is why we need herd immunity. You are vaccinated for the virus pre-human contact, not for after. People will still get it, but they will not die from it at the rate they are now. So once you have it, the vaccine, if you get COVID, your cells will know what to do. Your immune system will have already thought, hold on, I've met you before, and they'll act appropriately. Also, the level of it you'll have will hopefully not be enough to transmit to somebody else. But that doesn't mean that you shouldn't still take precautions of masking washing hands, hand sanitizing, and social distancing when advised. It just gives your immune system more of a chance. It gives you more of a chance of not dying of COVID. So for anyone who's saying they're not going to give it to their children when it's available for children, that they're not going to have it. Why? <laughs> why would you not have this? Tens of thousands of people have died from this now and it's ruining everything, isn't it? I mean, everything's closing down. Children are no longer allowed to go to school. People are having to stay off work. We need to get this stopped. And herd immunity works, in case you don't know how it works. So you've got 10 people here, and then 10 people here, or 20, or however many you want it to be, and one immunized compromised person in there, all right? These people and these people are protecting this person. So if you've got someone with full-blown COVID that comes along, 
these people and these people will not get it so badly that they'll transmit it to this person in the middle who could die. So hopefully that will educate you a little bit about why you should have it. And please stop saying it's only this amount of people that's died. They were really ill anyway. They were really old anyway. It just, it's a massive fuck you to the people who died. It's a massive, well, <laughs> they had it coming anyway because they were ill, they were disabled, they were, they were old, but they were someone. And you shouldn't just disregard people's lives like that. What gives you the right to do that? Anyway, stay safe.